I've got something very unusual to show you here. Um, if you get a little closer, this Silvertone uh, record disc or record disc, uh, these were made primarily out of acetate material. Uh, several different companies made these. These were for home recordings that were made probably starting in the 1940s and then going up through probably the late 50s, early 60s when the cassette recorder became popular. Most of the time you find these either at junk shops or uh, flea markets, thrift stores, whatever. And the stuff that people record on these are usually like their Aunt Helen singing Listen to the Mockingbird or something really, really strange, you know, Christmas greetings, you know, to Uncle Joe and whatever. Well, this particular one is an unidentified rockabilly artist. Um, neither side is labeled. Uh, first side here is uh, a version of uh, Baby Let's Play House, you know, the Arthur Gunner blues tune that Elvis recorded for Sun. And um, I'm going to play just a little bit of this just to give you an idea. I was going to make a regular uh, YouTube video out of this, but so that way more auth you know, authenticity, I figured I would uh, play this. There's probably a few, uh, might be a few skips on this. Yeah, I just thought I'd play a little, a uh, few little snippets. Now I'm going to set this down here, and I'm going to flip the record over. This particular song on this side uh, was a song that was recorded by a guy by the name of Terry Daly on the Mark label in 1958. The song was called "You Don't Bug Me No More." Uh, this isn't that record, so evidently the artist was covering this tune as well. So, as I say, I don't know who, uh, where this was made, who the artist is, but it's uh, it's pretty authentic rockabilly. This side, I think, skipped a little bit too. If whoever you know wants to buy the, if if, if I sold this to anybody and they wanted to play it, uh, they'd probably have to, uh, you know, take the old dime and put it on the tone arm or whatever to get it to play. I don't want to do it here because I don't want to ruin the uh, grooves.
whoever made this uh, really likes putting on uh, putting a lot of guitar breaks out there, which is pretty good. Well, authentic rockabilly 78 acetate recording from the 1950s by an unknown artist.